Okay, I'm going to talk about the Whittig reaction developed by George Whittig and co-workers. Um, this reaction is important because it's used to convert alkyl halides to alkenes and you can determine exactly where the double bond will be placed using this reaction as compared to previous reactions where you couldn't. Um, the overall reaction involves reacting an alkyl halide with a phosphine. Um, generally this is a triphenyl phosphine and you react it with a strong base like a butyl lithium and also a general aldehyde or ketone. And this will give you your alkene. That's a mixture of E and Z isomers. Now for a specific example of the Whittig reaction. Take the methyl bromide and in three separate steps react it with triphenyl phosphine, sodium hydride, and acid aldehyde to give you the alkene, in this case propylene. Now I'm going to discuss the mechanism. The electrons from your phosphine are going to attack the back side of the carbon via an SN2 reaction and your leaving group is going to leave. This will form the phosphonium halide intermediate. From here, your strong base is going to deprotonate the hydrogen from the phosphonium halide and this will give your iliad intermediate. Then the electrons from your iliad intermediate attack the carbonyl carbon of your aldehyde or ketone. The electrons come up here to oxygen and this reacts to now you have your betaene, which will undergo sigma bond formation here, and this will react to give you your oxophosphatane. It will go, undergo elimination of the phosphine oxide to give your alkene as a mixture of E and Z isomers. Um, e and Z isomers simply means that the R groups can be oriented in any direction around the double bond. And you also have here your phosphine oxide byproduct. In conclusion, the Whittig reaction is very important because it allows for carbon-carbon bond formation. Even more importantly, it allows for non-ambiguous placement of the double bond. And this reaction was so important that George Whittig shared in the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1979.